This time psych, in this video we are looking at osmosis. So first of all we need to know what is osmosis. As osmosis is the movement of water molecules across a partially permeable membrane from a region of high water concentration to a region of low water concentration. Now a partially permeable membrane is a membrane with very small holes in it and this means that only small molecules can pass through. The water molecules can move in both directions, however because there is more water molecules on one side than the other, there is a steady net flow of water molecules into the region with less of them. Now this can often dilute substances as it is similar to diffusion. Now dilute substances means that the solution contains a high concentration of water and a low concentration of sugar. However, a concentrated substance means that there's a low concentration of water but a high concentration of sugar. Now there is some things you need to know, some terminology, as if the concentration of the solutes in the solution outside the cell is the same as the internal concentration, you say that the solution is isotonic to a cell. However, if the concentration of the solutes in the solution outside the cell is higher than the internal concentration, you would then say that the solution is hypertonic to the cell. And finally, if the concentration of the solutes in the solution outside the cell is lower than the internal concentration, you would say that the solution is hypotonic to the cell. Now next thing we need to look at is osmosis in animals. As if an animal uses up a lot of water in its chemical reactions, water moves into it by osmosis because the cytoplasm becomes too concentrated. So if the cytoplasm becomes too dilute though, water leaves the cell in osmosis. And it could become too dilute because water is made in the chemical reactions. However, sometimes osmosis can cause big problems, as when the solution outside a cell is more dilute, water will move into the cell, and this may cause the cell to swell up and burst. However, if the outside of the cell is too concentrated, water will move outside of the cell from the osmosis, and then the cell will shrivel up and die. So that's a couple of the problems there where it could swell up and burst, or it could shrivel up and die. Then we need to look at osmosis in plants, as plants rely on osmosis to support their stems and their leaves. Now water moves into plant cells by osmosis, which causes the vacuole to swell up and press against the cell walls, and this makes the cell hard and rigid. Now the pressure then builds up until no more water can enter the cell, and this is known as turga. Now this means that plant cells need the surrounding fluids to be more dilute so that the water doesn't leave the cell. So that is osmosis for you. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.